Kansas State, Arizona State. What can we say about that game? We learned that Dylan Edwards and Kansas State movement was a trash movement to begin with. So Kansas State versus Arizona State went down like this. Kansas State was getting beat 24 to zip. Kansas State didn't score a point until late in the game. I'm talking about late in the third quarter. The game ended up being 24 to 14. Kansas State was the team that we were told that was better than us. Every pundits out there, analysts, journalists said that Deion Sanders is in trouble. Kansas State has put Colorado on a hold right now, a choke hold. They said that the score might be 30 to 17. I seen all the predictions. The favorite, uh, um, the point favorite was towards Kansas State. In fact, we played Kansas State in a way that should have been overlooked by the NCAA football. You can clearly see the countermeasures that was used against us by the refs were cheating. The countermeasures that was used against us in the Kansas State game by Chris Kyman, who's been doing the same thing for three years now, which is faking injuries. So if Chris Kyman and Kansas State are getting beat by another team or the team is having momentum, they pretend to have injuries. <coughs> when Kansas State was getting beat by Tulane in every way, they started faking injuries in the Tulane game. It was to the point where even uh, um, Nick Saban had to talk about Kansas State and other teams faking injuries on the field. Nick Saban said that teams like Kansas State and all these other ones doing these injuries, they have to be investigated. They have to be looked at, and we have to see why is this being allowed? No ifs and buts about it. Why is Kansas State being allowed to do all these toss and turns like that, bro? That was something that was wild to me, bro. But fast forward, God doesn't make mistakes. God makes no mistakes, bro. Hang on, this plane's all day coming through this, bro. Hard to do these videos sometimes with... <laughs> I was going to say Trevor Riley and um, what's the other agent name? Uh, Sean Lewis, our failed coordinator. And he is only a failed coordinator. I don't care if San Diego State calls him a head coach. That Benedict Arnold ain't coaching nothing but straight doodle. -doo. Oh, we got a video about him too today. But uh, looking at the whole merits of the situations with uh, uh, um, Kansas State, it's game over pretty much is what I'm trying to tell you. Game over. What I mean by game over is they're still ranked the 20th team right now. After this loss, take them off the goddamn ranking. I've been saying Kansas State should not be in the top 25 for the last six weeks. Some of these coaches can lose every single game and continuously get ranked in the top 25. The top 25 is a political ranking system based on the teams that they think can give them the whole uh, um, money that they want, um, uh, much money, I mean, as far as that. And some of these other teams, I guess, can't bring in the money. Well, we know Colorado doesn't have that issue, but a lot of good teams like Tulane, they implemented this BCS system that we used to have, the top 25, so it could be selected as far as who they want to have politically to be involved. Kansas State has been getting uh, 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 too much, how you call it, national attention, for a team that has regressed it into nothing, bro. Now, let's get to Dylan Edwards. You left Colorado football and said you wanted to go to the winning team. You said this. Even people who don't like me said, no, all Dylan Edwards did was like he wants to go to better coaching, better quarterback play. He said this. Dylan Edwards said this, y'all, by the way. I've been showing receipts after receipts while it's been happening. So we're keeping the same energy. Dylan said a better quarterback play. Why didn't you just tell the world Kansas State quarterback, sophomore quarterback, Avery Johnson is your best friend, your bestie? So you made it look like it's Shador who was underdeveloped as a quarterback. So you're going to a place with better quarterback play. So you're saying Avery Johnson was a better quarterback than Shador? You're saying Kansas State was a better team than Colorado? Because you did all this showing off. Nigga, you had three yards rushing on three or two carries. That's what you left Colorado for. 
DJ Giddens been averaging over 100 yards a game for two years in a row now. DJ Giddens in that horrible game had 133 yards rushing. I keep telling y'all, the only thing that kept Kansas State afloat and kept them the hottest team for two years was DJ Giddens. When DJ Giddens leave after this year, what does Kansas State has to offer? I won't be surprised if Dylan Edwards transfers again. He's going to stay over there, and you clearly see what Chris Kahneman does with you, Dylan. They don't know how to utilize you. They don't have the offensive scheme to highlight your natural give God-given abilities at all. I've never called Dylan Edwards trash, not one time. You won't find me calling Dylan Edwards trash, but he's a dumb player. He makes dumb decisions based off his privilege. You left to go to this trash team, and even if they were undefeated, they don't need you, they don't utilize you, they don't care about you, and at the end of the day, it's not about, you guessed it, you. So I enjoy every moment seeing teams like Kansas State. You dudes, your lame quarterback will never get drafted in a top position. He'll be lucky to get signed as an undrafted free agent. You hear me? Your quarterback is hot, stinking garbage, bro. Avery Johnson is the most overrated quarterback I've seen in college football. There's three of them. But that I've seen in college football this year, you got Avery Johnson. You got some other members as well in your fraternity of trash club members. And they hyped up Avery Johnson to the point that Matt Barry of the Matt Barry show on ESPN, he said the Paul Feinbaum that Avery Johnson should be in consideration this year for Heisman candidate. A guy that averages 160 to 170 yards a game. He rarely goes, rarely goes over the 200 yard mark. And when he does go over it, he's not the reason why he got access to throw that much yards. It's because that star studded running back he has. You don't hear me. So Avery Johnson, overrated quarterback, continues to get national praise for doing what? Can you imagine if any of our quarterbacks played like him? They would be ridiculed. Can you imagine if Dylan Edwards played with Shador? And he had abysmal season like Avery Johnson. Is Dylan Edwards going to call out Avery Johnson next? I'm being dead serious. Is Dylan Johnson. I, I said Dylan Johnson because it sounded like he got married to Avery Johnson. <laughs> but is, is Dylan Edwards going to call out Avery Johnson now? Is he going to call out Chris Kyman, his new coach? Because it seems that when you have a brother as your coach, all these players want to go into a camera and do the most for certain communities. So is he going to do that? <laughs> God don't make mistakes, boy. All them dudes act like Deion Sanders did something bad to them. The jealousy and envy was a little too much. They don't like the fame that, because they know that Colorado could have lost eight games this year. We still would have get the same attention. <laughs> That got to bother some people, bro. Damn, like, who they is? You heard Dan Landing of Oregon talking about the Cinderella story must stop. They do it for clicks and views. And now he doing it for clicks and views. My God, everybody done copied the game plan of well-off media and Coach Prime. All you people who, who done criticized and said they getting attention, all I, I showed proof. All their college institutions are using the same social media like um, um, phase that well-off media is using. All them dudes want to get their moment of fame, bro. It is what it is. Dylan Edwards, God don't make mistakes. The grass ain't never greener. Mine's greener. But at the same time, this on you, big dog. You left your blessings to be around a certain standard. That has crippled all you dudes from becoming professional football players. I told people the only reason the scouts know about Dylan Edwards right now is because of Deion Sanders and Colorado football and DJ Bless One. Because we talk about you nonstop for a reason. <laughs> for a reason. Because you wanted to be famous. So the gloves are off, my guy. Professionally, I follow the community guidelines, but we will make you a movie star. Every time you have these games, which was every day this year, I mean, every game this year, Dylan Edwards barely got over 30 yards rushing on every game this year. You can't say the same thing about it when he was in Colorado. But 
to each his own, man. Look, man, DJ Bless one the best one. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Boy, all, it's not only Dylan Edwards, all these people who left Coach Prime. God is good. <laughs>